<laughs> Welcome to Colo. My name is Lloyd. I'll be your host for today, and thanks for being here. Um, before we start our, our, our tour, I just want to show you around here a little bit. It says here on this wall here we have uh, uh, twenty almost twenty three years of design and building of Colo Ukulele, uh, and uh, we are now in a new facility. We've been here for about six, almost seven months now, and we just moved here and. Uh, it's a much bigger facility. Uh, we have a nicer showroom. But if you look at the design here, uh, we originally started making ukulele. It was pr predominantly all koa. But as we moved along through the years, we, would, we were moving from a koa, say a, a neck, to a mahogany neck. And then on the fretboards, we were using uh, like it, uh, rosewood and, uh, and going into even ebony rosewood. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, embarrassingly to say, the reason why 2010 and 2015 is not on the wall is because when we moved here, box two boxes should have went right, but it went left oh. to storage. Okay, <laughs> true story. So we're all lazy to go and look for under a hundred box cases of boxes for these things, but eventually it will show up. Okay, so that's the great thing of coming to do our tours. Something new every time. Okay, so but as from 2010, predominantly most of the changes um, are, are not as huge, but uh, because the sound of Kolo is always going to be what's important to us and how we build internally. A lot of it, you know, of changes are more external and uh, visual. Uh, but, uh, but if you go through here, this wall now, this wall here now represents the current design uh, of Kolo Ukulele here at this factory. And we also have a factory in Thailand. A factory in Thailand was built about six years ago. And we built that factory because we wanted to uh, give a koloa at a price uh, point where it's much more affordable. It's not uh, an entry level line. It's really a, a koloa, a more mid-range. So here, here in um, the factory that you're going to see today is going to be Hawaii made koa, all koa, solid koa body, uh, ukulele. And what we did is we uh, took the process, the exact same machinery. We went down to Thailand, opened our own factory. And just not opening a factory was important. We took our luthiers here, and they went to live, not to live, but they traveled to uh, Thailand and up to about 14 months and trained uh, how to build Kolo ukulele. So it's just not being a manufacturer and saying, we want a more affordable line, go to another manufacturer, stamp my name on it. And you know that most ukulele, uh, will, if you, when you have your, say, your, your main line and you have an import line, they don't even resemble. Mm. You know, they're not even close, even the sound-wise. So we started that uh, factory so that uh, we will give you a koloha. So how we save uh, money is obviously it's uh, made in another factory, so uh, labor cost is much uh, better. Uh, and so instead of using, say, an all koa body, what we will do is, uh, I don't know if I have an all uh, peel body here. I don't have an all, of, uh, all acacia body, but this is acacia here, acacia back and sides are solid. Um, and we would normally have in a full acacia body with the front top too. But in this one, it's a special model. This is what we do is we have an Engelman spruce from Canada, which gives it a much more brighter, punchier sound. But this one is made in our Thailand factory. And it is every exactly, uh, every bit of a koloa that how it's made, how it's the bracing. Uh, just the only difference is the, the wood we use and the labor costs, you know? So just since we're here, can I just show it to you folks? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about, um, just quickly, in a sense, Hawaii made and uh, Italian made, Opio version. So Opio means junior in Hawaii. So a junior <laughs> okay. factory. That's junior. great. Junior, okay. yeah, so okay. Opio means junior. Okay. It still says Kolo Alo yeah. Alogo, but yeah. ju mm -hmm. Opio means junior. So our junior line, okay. our junior factory. That's nice. So let's talk about the differences, okay? So. Uh, one made in Hawaii, one made in our Thailand factory. Uh, now the other difference would be, this would be an all koa body. Uh, generally, uh, if I had one, it would be an all acacia body, but this one is acacia with spruce stock, okay? Uh, but, uh, and then um, for the uh, fretboard, uh, this uh, we usually use a, a rosewood or ebony mm -hmm. here in, in the Hawaii made. Here we use a sapele, which is in place of mahogany. So, that's the only difference, that's mm -hmm. it. Everything else is the same. What I mean by that is you see the necks here, mahogany neck, CNC, 
same next. We ship it here and we ship it to uh, CNC machine in Thailand. Yeah, no, CNC in California. Oh, you do? Oh, really? Okay. So we right. so the next are CNC the, the wood and the next CNC in California. Yeah, and we have it shipped here and to Thailand. So oh, exact okay. same that's next. That's interesting. Yeah. Isn't that pretty good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you see the tuners here? Yeah. We buy it in bulk, same tuners. Okay. We don't lower the you know the cost just because it's the import mm -hmm. line. Yeah. You see the uh, saddle and the nut. It's the same ones we use in our Hawaii. It's a uh, um, it's a synthetic uh, tusk of saddle and nut, and then as well as the fret wire. Mm -hmm. okay. So a lot of um, you know ukulele or even guitar makers when they go to say like a import line, they try to use a cheaper metal, right? Mm -hmm. Same metal. So once again, I would say highly uh, you know seventy five to eighty percent is still what we use. It's just the main body and the fretboard. That's it. Okay. Pretty cool. So I guess I show that to you because what we're gonna do, and we go through these doors. What, how we build a koloa is how we build it also in our factory in Thailand. Sounds good? Yes. Für alle die, die es nicht verstanden haben, noch mal kurz, was ich interessant finde, ist, dass der, der Hals, ich war ja letztes Jahr bei, bei National und habe gesehen, dass dort ähm, die Hälse für Koaloa CNC werden und da werden auch die Hälse für die Opio-Line hergestellt. Und dann schippen sie die entweder nach Hawaii oder nach Thailand. enter as a friend and leave as family. So really, our goal, not only at mines, but really as a, a family of Koloa, uh, as you come through, you get a sense of being a part of the family. And uh, you get to meet every single person that has built a Koloa. So whether you're gonna buy one now or in the future, mm -hmm. at least you have, will meet, have met the people. So come on, very cool.